Okay, students. Now, what happens if you have a long string of a polynomial and you're trying to add it to another long string of a polynomial? Well, like, first off, when do you know you have polynomial addition? Well, the first thing you know that you have polynomial addition is you're probably going to have parentheses that are cutting that are beginning and cutting off a chain of numbers with exponents. See, so you notice know, that because they all have different exponents, you can't add them together. And then you're probably going to have a plus sign and another set of another parentheses with polynomial inside of it. So, how do I go ahead and add these? Well, it's a like term situation. What I want to do is I want to set the I want to set this up as a really long vertical addition problem. Here's what I mean. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my first chain. So it's 3x to the fifth power plus 4x to the fourth power <coughs> minus 7x to the third power. And now I'm going to add 0x to the second power. And why am I doing that? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't exist in this first polynomial, but I do have x to the second power in the second polynomial. I want to create a column for every exponent, whether it exists in my exponent problem or not. And that really helps me with my addition later on because I have a place for everything. And if I don't have a place for everything, Sometimes I get a little bit confused as to how to keep it around. So, let's see. So I have 0x to the 5th power. Whoops. And the reason I have 0x to the 5th power is because in my second polynomial, you notice I don't have an x to the 5th power. So that will be 0. It makes it a little bit easier to add plus, and I see a 3x to the 4th power, so I'm going to write that here, 3x to the 4th power. The next thing I see is, I don't see an x to the 3rd power, so I'm going to add 0x to the 3rd power. That way I have a space for everything. The next thing I see in my polynomial is negative 5x to the 2nd power. Type that out. I don't have an I don't have an x here, so I'm going to add zero x, and I'm subtracting four. <clears throat> now I'll write a big calculating line here, and let's see what happens. Now all I have to do from here is once the exponents matches, now I just have to add or subtract the coefficients. So from here, it's pretty simplistic. Out of x to the fifth power, I have 3x to the fifth power. I don't have any more x to the fifth power, so I have 3x to the fifth power. Whoops. 3, mm, no, not quite. 3x to the fifth power. Here I have four x. I have x to the fourth power. I have four x to the fourth powers, and I have three x to the fourth powers more. I have seven x to the fourth powers. Here I have negative seven x to the third powers. They don't have any more, so I have negative seven x to the third powers total. Here I have, I don't have any x to the second powers. Here I have negative 5x to the second powers. So, I have negative 5x to the second powers total. Here I have two x's, I don't have any more x's. So I have two x's total. Here, six minus four plus two. And that's how you add a chain of polynomials.